Hi guys, it is Sunday and I wanted to go out and hike somewhere or more like I just want to go out to nature because I haven't and um, it's my break and I just want to get out and just get out of the house because the past few days um, I've been spending time with my brother and today I need a day to myself basically and um yeah i've been really interested in wanting to go back to ramona santa isabel or maybe even julian if i feel like hiking out there there was a hike that i found and maybe there's like few people i don't know but i'm gonna head out it's almost one o'clock i woke up pretty late i slept a lot because well i wanted to yesterday i got really really bad sleep and um well, the entire evening i was just feeling really poorly so I wanted to make up for it as well as do something today tomorrow is gonna be raining so I'm probably anticipating being home all day tomorrow so um, let's hope that today will end up being a good day well you know what I don't need to say hope because I get to dictate everything so I'm pretty sure it'll be good all right this is the start of my hike I picked a random one and there is actually no other car in front of it so I'm pretty excited about that beautiful so what I've been finding interesting about today is the fact that every single trail that I've passed by on my way over here has been way more packed than usual. So it is Sunday, it is a weekend, but um, I'm driving out far. I drove, I think this is an hour 30 minutes one way to get here. This is Palomar Mountain and I've never hiked up here before. I have never really explored this area before. That's why I really wanted to come back especially hiking with Riley. When I drive that far, I would like to take her with me. That way she can off-leash and everything. But um, the vista, there's a scenic vista on the way up the mountain. And I would have loved to take a picture with her because there's a lake on the bottom and it looks really nice. But there were, the parking lot was full. So I was like, fuck that, let me keep going. So hopefully now I'll have this trail all to myself. This is actually a fairly open hike. So I think I'm going to really like it. I really like hikes that aren't too enclosed. That way there's more to see as you're walking around. Come! Good. Good girl. There's something rustling on the side. <laughs> oh, break. Good. We got some cattle over there. Man, I wanted to take a picture of this cow just because I feel like the clouds behind it would make for a nice picture. But my camera can only zoom in, I think it's like 50 meters or something. So it looks so freaking small even though in front of my eyes right now, it looks close. Damn it. All right, hey guys, I am finally back at my car. Um, Something that I tend to do when I'm hiking, or I actually think this is a lot more problematic than I think or have thought of before, but I actually think my anxiety is not very good because it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but I do feel like it affects my choices and maybe my attitude a little bit. So even when I'm hiking, I'm out in nature. That's something that I love, but I'm always so distracted. My mind is always thinking about other stuff to worry about, like my car. I was oh, oftentimes when I'm hiking, I'm always thinking, oh crap, did I forget to lock my car? And then I get nervous about it. And then I think about all these different things like, oh my God, someone's going to take my impact crate, which is extremely expensive. And then I also think, oh man, do I need a, a pass to park here? Am I going to get a parking ticket? Like why? You know, like a lot of things that end up just, um, becoming what I'm focusing on instead of enjoying the hike as much and it becomes so distracting and then it also might encourage me to stop hiking earlier than I would have liked. So actually today it turned out to be okay because it's starting to drizzle now and actually I think in the area that I'm in right now there's a winter storm warning so it's not going to affect me where I live but maybe since I'm in the area right now it put the warning on my phone but um, there's a lot of people um, riding or driving around here and it's really loud. There are engine noises 
Um, I saw a bunch of sports cars, I saw a bunch of motorcycles, and even though I'm hiking away from the road, I still hear it so loud and clear because it's so open and um, quiet out here. I feel like sound just carries for a really far distance. But I need to go back and get some food because I haven't eaten yet at all today and definitely want to get that in because I'm starting to feel a little discomfort in my stomach. So I am in Santee right now and the line for In-N-Out is pretty long, but this one I believe compared to the one by my house goes faster and <laughs> I already had it all planned in my head. Okay, I'm going to be um, getting in and out and then getting bubble tea and then I'm heading home. So <sighs> I am pretty hungry for sure. So actually something I wanted to ask you guys some advice for is that Return to Freedom is a wild horse conservation in San Luis Obispo. I hope I said that right. So for the past month or two, I have been anticipating wanting to go there for a photo safari. So the photo safari is about three to five hours and I'm assuming you go out with a guide and then three to four other strangers and you go and take pictures and you just wander around. And that sounds like paradise for me. So I totally would love to do that. But um, their 2021 dates went up. I checked their website yesterday and I saw the new dates. So I was like, fuck yes, it's time to book a trip. However, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Or like when I think about the cost, I am a little bit hesitant just because it's a lot. So around that area, I don't feel like there's anything I'm too excited about exploring or when it comes to making that drive I don't want to turn that trip into a road trip because when I check the map there's like nothing really interesting around there but the cost of this trip would still be a lot and it's actually mainly the ticket price the ticket price is $350 that is probably what is making it so expensive although two nights at this one really beautiful cottage is a hundred and I think 40 a night but the main issue is the other fees that really bump it up so two nights I was thinking the safari is on a Saturday I would go drive up five hour one-way drive by the way I would drive up stay Friday night stay Saturday night because after the safari I don't want to drive five hours home that's really tiring so I would stay two nights and then drive home. So that would make it $431. And then with the ticket price, it would be about like $780 for this trip, which is a lot of money. So please let me know if you think it would be worth it for me based on what you know about me. <laughs> um, love horses, love nature. It's a combination of the two and I'm not exactly swimming in money right now, so that is a lot, but also I am trying to figure out where I wanna go next year. So originally, and I'll probably go through with it unless somebody suggests something even better, so if you have any ideas for where I can drive to, please let me know. I am open to anything, let's see, I'll consider max 25 hours away, so probably like the middle of the US and then anything out west I would consider driving to. But I wanted to go to a place called Glenwood Springs in Colorado. Um, my friend Shane recommended it to me and I've been wanting to go to Colorado so I figured that would be a decent place to go. It seems like a small townish place. And um, he said there was this one trail that he hiked on that was really beautiful with nobody else around and he really recommends that for me so I was thinking, let's go try visiting that area. I'm not exactly sure when I plan on going, as soon as possible, ideally, as soon as possible when it comes to being warm. I think I wouldn't mind going if it were like 60 degrees, 60 to 70 there. Um, definitely probably avoid going when it's 75 and up because then Riley would get hot and everything. But, um, yeah, those are the things that I'm thinking about right now. The horse conservation, the earliest date they have is April. 
and um, yeah, it's just, it's weird because normally when I plan to do something, I go through with it. I'm not usually the type to be like, whoa, hold up there. Especially because when it comes to this horse conservation, I was going to do it this year. I wanted to go in December or something because when I looked at the website and saw that they're, they were open again due to COVID, I was like, oh shit, this isn't my chance now. But um, now after seeing the prices, I'm a little bit more hesitant, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be. So let me know what you think.